Wearable technology provides the opportunity to quantify non-invasive characteristics of ageing or pathology normally associated with large, highly specialised equipment. Due to the advances in hardware, there are a multitude of commercially available wearables that currently exist, as shown here. Consumer-based wearables have helped facilitate the concept of continuous monitoring due to the sleek, ergonomic designs and growing trend to self-monitor for improved health benefits. However, the challenge associated with wearables is the interpretation of data, or lack thereof. Analytics only ever ergonomically deep, which hampers wearables as useful and clinically robust diagnostics. This is epitomised by modern wrist-worn or smartphone technology, which still rely on basic outcomes such as step counts. The interest in clinical-based wearables has grown in recent years due to increased ability to log high-resolution data for longitudinal periods. One application of this is found within rehabilitation strategies where there is a need to improve services for patients and to deliver highly specialised individualised support. The challenge with clinical wearables is their cost, often limiting them to a small number of bespoke well-funded studies. However, these studies lack analytical insight and rely on basic outcomes provided by affiliated software. More often than not, wearables are viewed as white elephants in the research world, expensive toys, often without much analytical return. This can be attributed to the fact that wearables are often technology rather than methodologically driven. And this is the aim of my work at Newcastle, the development of robust and suitable data analytics. Because wearables are becoming the norm in everyday life, the quantity of data being acquired is something that is truly off the charts. For example, at Newcastle University, we regularly monitor patients with a triaxial accelerometer device on the lower back for one week, which samples at 100 hertz or 100 times per second per axis. So how much data is that? Triaxial, so three axes, 100 times a second, 60 seconds a minute, 60 minutes an hour, 24 hours a day, over seven days. That's over 181 million data points. That's a lot of habitual information to interpret for each individual. Currently, the hardest question posed by wearables is where to begin digging within the vast abundance of data, which, if we examine in fine detail, could better inform environmental or pathological conditions. As technology advances have only recently afforded us high-quality data, this is an emerging and exciting field of research. The ability to capture high-resolution data combined with modern analytics provides improved patient care and autonomy within their own home. For example, accurate and robust habitual gait analysis leading to a more rounded physical capability assessment can inform pharmaceutical interventions, while the detection of severe and adverse events such as falls can help physiotherapists better structure fall prevention strategies. The potential for wearables is evident, however many challenges remain before they are adopted as mainstream diagnostics. These include the validation of wearables in various patient populations, device location to suit wearer needs, and the bespoke analytical requirements for individual patient support during extreme surgical interventions such as sarcoma.